Well, tomorrow's the 4th of July. People will be parading and picnicking. Parents will be worrying about their kids getting hold of some fireworks, and the kids will probably be worrying about not being able to get hold of some fireworks. And maybe at some point, as we celebrate our country's 202nd birthday, our thoughts will turn to our founding fathers, the people who built America. It sure would be interesting to talk with some of them, wouldn't it? The stories they could tell. Of course, they're long gone, but many of the tools they used to build America with have survived through the years. And that's at least partly because they captured the curiosity of a small but eclectic group of collectors. One of them is Fred Bear of Auburndale, Florida. Fred has a lot of those old tools, and with them, the stories he can tell. I had a farm in upstate New York when I was a young fella. He had a, uh, a black come up whose grandfather had been a freedman. He put up two two-story brick chimneys took him two days, and when he came down, he said, Freddie, it, when it takes me that long to put up a couple of chimneys, it's time for me to quit. He was 80 at the time. So he asked me if I wanted his tools, and I said, yes, I'd like to have them. How much did he want for them? And he said $10. So that's how I got started. We hear a lot in school about all the battles and so on, but these are the tools that build America, and you can learn a lot from the from the way they, uh, from the, the way they're made and the purposes they had. It may seem a curious hobby, collecting old tools, but many are still functional, some superior to their successors. And in the hands of a man who knows how to use them, we can learn firsthand how our forefathers lived, how they fashioned a new nation from a wild frontier. We can better appreciate what a job of work it was. I'm Bob Height in Eight Country, hoping you have a good day celebrating the birthday of our country.